All right, let's do this. Uh, facing lead, definitely not going to be folding with two overs and a backdoor nut flush draw. If he bet twice here, I would have put him on a draw. The fact that he checks makes me think he has a pet. Now that's a pretty bad river card for him. So we are going to bluff river. Oh, he had his hand as strong as Jack's. <clears throat> nice hand. Uh, Ace, Queen. We've got a short stack, uh, which we are going to commit to. Uh, so before we go all in, we're just going to colour this guy green. Um, let's just put him all in. Uh, he's got 9-6, but that's no good. Uh, seven four here. I think I like check raise with seven four, and that's what we're gonna do. Nice ace jack. We can mix between call and three bet. Um, this time we will call. I don't think it makes too much sense for us to lead this turn, so we are gonna check. Um, we're going to see back with Ace King here. Here, uh, with a million draws out here, um, I do like a big bet here. Here, I like uh, a raise. The Ace King here, I wonder if we bet fold or check the side. I think we bet fold. Because he does have some Ace X hands. Um, that we can get value from. Uh, and then here, uh, so yeah, we have to check uh, bet fold here. Uh, with ace jack, we are going to bet the river. <sighs> oh, I've been put um, to the test here. Yeah, I think this is just a snap fold. Nice hand. Tough uh, couple of hands we just had there with the ace jack and the ace king. Uh, eight six suited. Uh, we're going to be calling this three bet. All right, so we see a nice flop uh, for our hand. Yeah, I think I lean more towards flatting here. We drilled um, the three over here in pocket threes. <laughs> we drilled uh, trip eights here. Um, so we checked the flop, um, so now I think we're just going to bet small on the turn. Uh, and here um, I like overbet, as we do have um, some draws that missed, plus we've got trip eights. So we do want to go for a polarizing bet here. Nice, so we got paid. Um, so I expect us to be called quite light there with like an ace high. Wow, so he had four five, so um, he's three better me with um four five pre flop. So I'm not quite sure I know what you mean. So do you mean hundred now is quite low stakes? Um, not quite sure what you meant there. So you're saying because hundred and now is quite low stakes that I should be betting more because I'm going to get called more often. Is um is that what you mean? Uh, I'm going to see that here. And um, kex, sorry, I can't quite read kex. Piss zero six to coat. Thank you, man. Uh, get raised. Um, so we're obviously just all in. Nice. Right. So we're able to build a little bit of uh, momentum after a bit of a shaky start. Okay, so quite a big bet here. Uh, we're obviously just calling. Uh, I think we're going to have to call twice here, depending on bet sizing. Uh, he has a lot of flush draws that would um, bet the flop and then check turn. So we are going to check the river. Yeah, and given we have flushes as well in this spot, um, when he pots it, 
Um, we're not going to be calling um, two pet. Um, we have three bet ace queen. Uh, see a four bet from this guy that three bet us with four five off um, a little while earlier. Uh, ace queen suited. We're just going to call. Uh, we'll be continuing versus um, small bets here. Uh, we will continue versus this sizing. You should be checking this quite often. <clears throat> which he does. Uh, so I think we're going to have to bet turn and then shove river. I don't see him ever shoving um, on the turn here. Hey, Azrovich, thanks for the follow, man. All right, so uh, just going to be um, shoving here with ace queen. We play sets as well as straights the same way. Um, I don't think this board is very good for his range. It's much better for our range. Come on, fold. My heart's racing there, boys. Come on, fold. Got to say, my heart was uh, <laughs> my heart was proper proper pumping there. That's how you get the adrenaline running, boys. Um, we're going to call this 3-bet. 6-4 uh, suited. We're going to call. Uh, we're going to 3-bet East king See a check. We're going to take a free card. And here, we're going to see base king And we're going to check uh, the turn, and we're going to fold river here. Mm, tough spot here. You could easily have a jack, but I think this hand is too strong to fold. Nice bet. So queen 10 suited gets the ace jack. Has this beat anyway? Uh, hey, act blur. Blur, I think. Thanks for the follow, man. Um, I think I'm leaning towards fold here. Um, yeah, I don't think this is a good spot. Um, seeing the check raise, we're going to call with ace queen. Uh, why do people play zoom? Um, you can just see a lot more uh, hands per hour, right? Because uh, you don't have to wait for the hands to play out. I uh, don't uh, like this bet, but we are going to have to call twice here with ace-queen. It's a pretty horrible run out. Hands like queen-jack of hearts or king-jack of hearts. Everything gets there, so it's a tough run out for ace-queen that You can just win more money, right? Why not necessarily um, do, uh, not in terms of a win rate perspective, because um, the players are generally a lot stronger. Um, but if you are a winning poker player, then by playing more hands, you'll just um, make better use of your time. Um, right, so we're going to lead um, with ace five here. We can check pocket nines and see a pretty nice river. Unless someone has queen ten, unless then we're just screwed. So I think this now uh, has to be a raise fold with um, pocket nines. Uh, the only thing we need to raise too big though. Uh, here, we're just going to size down now to target his um, king x hands, and we're going to get raised, I think, if he has a hand like king queen. Ah, we timed out. <sighs> I didn't think that would happen to us again, given we've already been streaming for quite a bit now. Right, so we need to be a bit more careful to not time out. Nine seven suited. Uh, we're going to call this three bet. Uh, so we've got some potential here. Uh, I think we just call. Uh, on this turn card, um, I think I like a lead. Nice. Because um, all that means is you have to make um, a different type of adjustment. 
it doesn't really matter no matter uh, you know whatever strategy someone plays because um there's always a counter strategy to any strategy um someone chooses um and that's why you know people say it's good to try to play balanced right or gto um <clears throat> so that they can't really be exploited i'm not going to open this conversation uh on the stream but um it's just a game of information so if you feel like wait for more premiums then you know you need to figure out what the adjustments you need to make um, to exploit that trying to target a 10x here uh, versus pot uh, so you did have a 10x uh, so we're going to call and we don't want to see a 10 or a spade here so we see a brick Nice. Um, I think he uh, more likely than not had a big draw. So he had um, five eight spades for the flush draw. Subet King Jack suited here. And we're going to delay Subet Queen Jack suited there. Uh, here. We are going to double barrel. I think we do bet three times here. Because uh, I think he does have a lot of um, pocket eights, pocket nines. Maybe even something like king nine um, that we have beat. So this is quite a thin value bet here. Alright, that's a good fold. Uh, defend 10 7 suited. Uh, we're going to check call versus um, quite a big um, C bet. Um, on this turn card, he bets quite big. I think we have a lot more 4x than him. Right, so we're going to go for a check raise. We have a lot of um, 4x of clubs that play this way. As well as um, pocket fives, so it's a nice um, check raise there. Um, we see a squeeze, which we're obviously calling, and we're both like two hundred bigs deep here. Uh, so we all know um, what flop we're looking for here and here, right? Nine, eight. Right, we're going to call this C bet, and we're going to fold here with pocket eights. <clears throat> it's a good card for him, uh, which means it's a bad card for us. Yeah, I don't think we can continue now, as he's just got a massive um, range advantage. Um, if this was a reg, uh, we'd be three betting ace four here, uh, but because it's a green tag guy, uh, we do want to go to the streets uh, with him. So easy call on the flop. Uh, we're going to call twice. And that's not a great river card. All right, you win. We're going to come in for the cold um, four bet here with king queen suited. Uh, king queen off would fold. Um, king queen suited um, makes the cut. We are going to come in for the squeeze here with ace nine. Get caught in two spots. Right, so we're going to bet. Um, we're going to see bet. We get called twice. And unfortunately, we don't improve. So we are going to check now um, with Ace Knight. I don't think we continue if we face um, any more bets. And uh, this guy decides to lead, and especially with this guy behind, I don't think we can um, continue. Um, so I think we are going to fold ace nine now. This guy might have an ace king, ace queen type hand, or ace six. Yeah, so he had ace queen, which is what I put him on, ace king, ace queen. Uh, I put him on uh, pocket sixes, but I didn't think um, he'd be calling a c bet uh, there with um, ace six. 
uh, open ace king here. Um, right, so we're going to see bear ace king here. Got pretty much almost the same flop here on both hands, on uh, both tables. Um, so it's the same story for both. Um, here I like overbet. And here, I don't think we mind too much checking back here. I mean, it's the queen jacks, we can let them improve to a straight when we have um, ace king, right? Um, we can balance when we have weak um, 10x hands, maybe, uh, by using ace king. Bad river, obviously, because now we chop against all other king x hands. Never raising here as a bluff. And also, you know, if we just call, we could maybe entice this guy to come along with a 10x hand. Um, so we're just going to call. Yeah, so he did have um, King X. Yeah. It's a shame about the uh, river. Hey, Joe Kitch12, thanks for the follow, man. I hope you're uh, enjoying the stream. Sorry, so we've got options here. We can call, we can raise. I think he would bet King X of spades um, with the same sizing. So for that reason, we're just going to call. Uh, so it's not a good turn card for him, and given our hand doesn't have any showdown value, um, I like an overbet here. Nice, ace-10 will just call. So this feels like queens or jacks to me. Um, so we are going to continue. See if we can um, improve or outplay him on future streets. He's going to hate this card now. Uh, so he should be checking nearly 100% of the time here. I think I like an overbet here. We have massive draws that play the same way. So we do want to balance it with um, our strong value hands. I mean, even if he did have a 10x hand there. Uh, I don't expect these hands to be shoving right over and over bet versus my queen jack of diamonds. Um, so we're going to be able to see the river um, quite often um, with our massive draws. In hindsight, yeah, maybe we should have made an exploit to size down uh, just to make sure we can get paid. Um, I think player pools just shrunk to 16 players. We're going to set up next couple of big blinds don't want to play um three-handed so we are going to be ending the stream uh very shortly um all right so let's see bet seven five i was just gonna say i didn't really want to uh, see a check raise here so we're gonna call but i'm not feeling too great to be honest I don't think he has any hands that we beat here in this spot. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't see him have any bluffs really in this spot, really, to be honest. So we're gonna fold. Right. So unfortunately, um, because the player pool shrunk, um, we're not gonna continue playing like three-handed. So uh, yeah, we're gonna end the stream here. Um, thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time.